name's Derek Sequera. Uh, I'm 20 years here at General Motors, chemical engineer by trade. I've spent time in manufacturing, quality, launching vehicles, even got to lead business strategy for GM Canada. But one of my favorite roles has been coming over to really help spur EV adoption, building education for customers, dealers, and then extending that to building out a product and services ecosystem that makes getting into an electric vehicle much easier than anyone can think. That's where GM Energy was founded. As one of the first members of GM Energy, we are a part of General Motors that is focused on bringing new value to electric vehicle customers beyond just the drive. Our mission is to pioneer and grow innovative energy solutions which empower every community, every home, and every business. We've got an entire product and solutions ecosystem out there, but we also have programs that help ease the different anxieties that a customer may have when getting into an electric vehicle, whether it be on cost, range, or charging. We wanna make sure that we are helping make that transition as seamless as possible. We're doing this through easing range anxieties by focusing on programs such as public charging, showing our EV customers that they have access to public charging when they need it, available through their vehicle or right in the palm of their hands in their My Chevrolet app. But we're also part of building out infrastructure as well investing in the right spots to build things like a coast-to-coast -coast network and our partnership with EVgo and Pilot Flying J that'll make public charging comfortable for customers and take that range anxiety down a notch. But most importantly, we want to have great solutions for the customer before they drive that EV home. One of the most important parts of electric vehicle acceptance is having a charging solution. We mentioned public charging, but over 80% of your charging will be done in the home. So we're building out product ecosystems and solutions to make sure that you've got that solution ready to go by the time you leave the dealership. That's what we're here for today. We're here to show you that you can unlock more value out of that Silverado RST. There is a ton of energy stored in that vehicle. And for the longest time, we were focused on how do we get energy into the vehicle through charging products and solutions. But now we're gonna introduce the concept of bi-directional charging. You can now harness the stationary power in that vehicle sitting in your driveway and use it where you need it the most. When I think of the word resilience, I think of a nameplate like the Silverado. You can now extend resilience to allow you to power your home by, <coughs> by utilizing vehicle to home technology. This is what GM Energy is gonna bring to the table. A complete product ecosystem that allows you, the customer, to take the power from your Silverado and use it to power your home. We know that there are a lot of things going on. There's bad weather, the grid's kinda wonky. People are experiencing outages across this nation. Last year alone, they, at the Department of Energy, they estimate over 150 billion is lost due to outages. So what we wanna do is make sure that we've got solutions in place that'll help mitigate that. The grid is an aging infrastructure. It's gonna take time and investment to get it back to where it needs to be as more and more energy assets start accessing the grid. At GM Energy, we believe that our electric vehicle portfolio is part of the solution. Our home product ecosystem unlocks vehicle to home technology. It starts with bi-directional charging. Our very first bi-directional charger, the PowerShift, allows you to charge up to 19.2 kilowatts AC at 80 amps, the fastest AC charging we've got out there. Couple that with our vehicle to home enablement bundle of a bi-directional inverter a home hub that allows you to choose the sources in your home that are most important to you that you want to back up and a dark start battery to wake the system up when you have no power this system when coupled with an equipped vehicle like the silverado rst 
gives you that flexibility and puts the power to choose back in the customer's hands. And it's all integrated. There's an app for everything. There's an app for this, but it's the same app that you're used to. It's your My Chevrolet app. Our team has gone and built a seamless integrated experience, putting a home energy management system into your My Chevrolet app. So not only can you control your vehicle, but you can also control the power flowing into your home in the palm of your hands using an interface that you're used to in your My Chevrolet app. All of this comes together through an integrated e-commerce experience. We are gonna take you, the customer, as you're purchasing your electric vehicle, connect you to energy experts that are gonna guide you to make sure that you are selecting the right product that you need for your home. Also, working with a preferred installer network because this is complicated electrical equipment. We wanna make sure that you've got the right professionals working with you to get this installed. Couple that with an unparalleled customer care and after sales experience, and you've got that end-to-end -end setup that you can't find anywhere else. It doesn't end there. We're starting with our vehicle to home system. But later this year, we're gonna give you even more energy flexibility by allowing you to leave home during an outage and utilize stationary storage. The power bank is our stationary storage offering. It allows you to even more energy flexibility. Batteries, 10.6 kilowatt hours or 17.7 kilowatt hours. Maybe take two 17.7s and put them together for 35. That'll give you the energy you need to leave the house to go pick up the kids and make sure that everybody else still there is comfortable during an outage. All of this fully compatible with the vehicle to home system. We've built this to be a modular system. So you can start with a power shift charger, add an enablement bundle later, and then when available, you can upgrade and add a power bank as well. You've got choices and we wanna make sure that you're well educated and it can help you grow as you grow with our ecosystem. Last but not least, some people wanna take complete control of their energy destiny. And we wanna help you do that as well. Also later this year, we're gonna introduce solar integration. Whether you have existing solar on your home already, or you're looking to integrate brand new solar, we're gonna add that to that end-to-end -end experience so that you can work with us, we can get your vehicle to home going, and then connect you to the right solar experts to have a seamless, integrated, off-the-grid solution. So we're real excited about vehicle to home, but that's just the start. As I mentioned, the grid's aging. It's gonna take a lot of work from different stakeholders to get it to where it needs to be. And we believe we're part of the solution. We're working with utilities across the United States to get them familiar with the technology that we're building here in terms of vehicle to home. Pilots are out there with the utilities to work on things like managed charging so that you can <clears throat> allow your vehicle to charge when the utility needs it to charge. Or you can participate in different time of use rates that are out there so that you can get the pay the least amount for charging possible. That is just the beginning. We believe that all of these electric vehicles out there are gonna become energy assets. And when coupled together, they could potentially be the source for some of these grid outages. So we're real bullish about the future and we wanna make sure that we are at the forefront and it starts here with this vehicle to home system and bi-directional technology. So we talked a lot about the Silverado RST having this capability, but I'm super excited today to tell you that it's not just the Silverado RST. The other Chevrolet Altium-based EVs that you will see here today, the work truck, the Blazer EV, and the Equinox EV also have that same capability. So not only can you have an electric vehicle for every lifestyle in the portfolio, but you can also have access to vehicle to home technology, no matter what you drive in the Chevy EV portfolio. We talked a lot about it, but I wanna show you. This works, this is real. This is not a science project. So what we're doing right now is we've got a Silverado RST sitting in that garage over there, and we're gonna use it 
to power this home in a simulated outage. So for the rest of the evening, we are going to be running on the power of the Silverado RST. So with that, I'd like everybody to please stand and follow me over to the garage so we can show you how this works. As I mentioned outside, we've got a Silverado RST lined up here, connected to our equipment, but I'm not going to take you through it. I'm going to introduce Mary Patacourt, our program engineering manager for Intelligent Charging Solutions, who has been a integral part from the time this was a PowerPoint all the way through making it a reality. So Mary Patacourt, over to you. Thanks, Derek. Before I show you how wonderfully this RST can power the home, I do want to call attention to a couple of things. These silver auto trucks, these EVs, RST and a work truck, are powering every part of your experience tonight. We have an RST up front that was powering our presentation screens and the PA equipment. We have another RST over here that is powering the complimentary Wi-Fi that you are experiencing. We have a work truck back behind this garage that's powering these beautiful uh, executive uh, trailer bathrooms. <laughs> and then we're going to use this RST to power our dinner experience tonight. And we're going to do that with this e h simulation that we're going to do. So I can assure you that while we're simulating a power outage tonight, this actually reacts in the exact same way as an actual outage. How do I know that? I have this system in my home and have for the past six months. I've been running it with a Blazor EV, and I've experienced both many simulated outages, but also several natural outages in the grid. And it reacts in the exact same way. So in the words of our chief, let's do it. We're now without power. The Dark Start battery is providing enough low energy to ensure that the other components remain on as we set up a safe discharge. The home hub has detected the outage and isolated itself from the grid. The inverter has now sent a signal to the power ship to begin communication with our RST, setting up that communication and a safe condition for discharge. As soon as that is created, the DC power starts flowing back through the cable, the power ship gets converted to AC, sent back to the home hub, and we have power. So tonight we'll be tonight we'll be utilizing this for our dinner experience. Um, so everything will be powered off the RSC. 